nice looking tomatoes. I said nice looking tomatoes. But I'm wearing gloves. And I suggest to you to consider having a pair of gloves and wearing a pair of gloves. If you're harvesting, reaching your hand into places that you can't really see that well. At least out here in southwest Nebraska. For example, that lady south of town picking tomatoes reached in to a tomato cage to pick some tomatoes and there was a little rattlesnake in there. She never saw it until it hit her and it bit her. It cost most of fifty thousand dollars fifty thousand because she didn't have gloves on. A small rattlesnake would have a hard time getting through a good pair of leather gloves. I'm just here to tell you. And considering the gloves today they make them so they're pretty darn comfortable and will fit whatever size that you need. But they give you that added security against a spider or even a, a snake bite if the snake is small. And even if he's big, it's still going to give you a little better chance of survival because the fang has to go through the leather. That means it's going to be less deep into you. And the shallow poison bite is a lot better than a deep poison bite, I'm here to tell you. And over at Stratton, again, a woman walking along her driveway. She looked down and she saw a weed, a single weed sticking up there. And so she, I'll get rid of it. So she just, without even thinking, bent down to pull that weed out. And of course, the dirt along there was kind of loose. And uh, there was a little rattlesnake. And he had wiggled himself under the dirt and just laying there, with just the, his eyes and part of his head sticking out of the dirt. Never saw him until she reached down to pull that weed out. And he was within range, and without rattling or any warning, he bit her in the finger in the main finger here and that finger it swelled up and she went to the dock they almost had to amputate the finger they almost had to amputate it they saved the finger but for the rest of her life there was no feeling in that finger and very little movement very little movement again there's a reason why the old cowboys wore gloves it was for that added addition of safety and they didn't have any doctrine uh, within any kind of range, a day or two, three or four days maybe, before they could even get any help. And even back then, there was very little medical that they could do. And the day after event, there sure, sure won't be much that can help you either in the way of medical. And so, if you want to own a pair of gloves, even if you don't want to use them today, it'd be a good idea to have them around for a day after event. Considering any kind of activity outside gardening especially when you start cleaning up your yard and if there's a possibility of snakes or even the right place uh, we had five kids in the local area here oh it's been some years back but five were just playing in the leaves and that type of thing there was a heavy uh, population of recluse spiders that year and five kids were bitten and ended up at the emergency room because of recluse spider bites and Gloves give you that added protection against the spider bite for sure and for certain. You know, for five, maybe a $10 bill, have a good pair of gloves and that little bit of safety, that means, that means that you're safer here on this earth. And that's one of the things I try to advise you to do. I give you the information, do with it what you want. Have a good day.